The rec center located in Viola, Illinois, is offering the community a place to gather, learn, and grow together. Yep, Robin Messerly is the woman who created the rec center, and she's joining us now. Uh, Robin, thanks for being here today. My pleasure. We're just for talking me. about everything you guys have going on at yeah. the rec center, and we'll get mm -hmm. to all that in uh, just a minute. Uh, I love this though. You describe this as a no frills, affordable, and close to home option. Yes, which is. Honestly, why we sign up to join gyms, community yeah. centers, all of that in the first place. Why did you feel like the Viola, the Mercer County community needed this space? Um, I moved out there about seven years ago and I loved the small town life. I quickly said, yep, I will claim that for me. I like this. But I did feel like my town was missing that gathering place. Mm -hmm. Like there's just something else that I feel like we need and people need people. Yeah. So just creating opportunities for people to gather just became a passion of mine so and you mentioned people need people I mean leisurely time recreational time mm -hmm. it's very important for our overall health it really is it's really important to your mental health um, to be face to face with one another yeah. but also doing physical activity yeah. and the simple act of smiling is good for you. And, so. and interacting with others as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, moving your mm -hmm. body. Well, uh, tell us about the different uh, classes, programs, and events that we can find at the rec center because you guys really, like I was saying, you run the gamut of stuff that you offer. Um, there's fitness, there's arts, there's life skills. So kind of go through, yes. obviously, just a few of the of the different sure, things. Sure, sure. Monday through Thursday, um, we hold weekly classes, okay. and a lot of them are arts-based. Dance, tumbling, but all in a more more fitness fun way for adults and for kids. Art, sign language is oh, a new wow. class we have. Theater class is coming back in April. Um, and so we have all ages, something that we're trying to offer that way. And then monthly we do some adult crafting, so macrame okay. or card making class, which is really great fun. Yeah. Um, those types of things happen on a monthly basis too and more during the weekend for teens and adults. So something for people of all ages to do right. down at the rec yes. center. So talk yes. about more of the activities that you have to offer. You know, we mentioned we got to move our bodies, so you offer many different activities at the rec center as well. Yes, yeah. Um, something new that's been really great for the ladies. Uh, we had some yoga and we've been in between having an instructor for that. So I created a bar fitness class. So oh, wow. B-A-R-R-E. We're not drinking. <laughs> We're at the ballet bar. <laughs> That's for the after hours. Um, <laughs> right. But even just a slow movement uh, workout, you know, uh -huh. ballet is so good for your body. And you don't have to be a ballerina to enjoy it no. as just a fitness. Those are tough. Those are tough classes too. Those bar um, classes. They yeah. Can they can be. They can, they be, can be. They are what you make of them. Let's That's just, right. Let's That's just say right. it that way. So yeah, yeah um, who teaches the classes? I know you yourself step in and, and do I some do. stuff too. I do. You know, I'm kind of a, you know, I do a lot. I wear all of the hats yeah. right now. Um, and I have a great uh, pool of friends and family um, that I use but then within the community and yeah. that's what I hope to grow even more is less of me teaching and more mm. of just the people within the community yeah. that are coming in to share their skills so yeah. Yeah. what has the response been like I can only imagine I mean I'm seeing those photos of those those cute little kids dancing yeah. around in a circle oh yeah um, you know if people that didn't have that before or didn't have it nearby, mm -hmm. they have to just feel like this is such a blessing. I, yes, I am very thankful. I get encouragement mm -hmm. on a regular basis Good. that, you know, this is something that the community appreciates having around yeah. and, you know, in the style and form that we're doing it, that it's, you know, it's very accessible and affordable to, to many, so. Good. So you have a lot of fun upcoming events oh, yeah. here uh, in the next month coming up in April, so let's touch on some yes, of those. Yes, yes. Um, a really exciting one is our, in honor of National School scrapbooking day. Okay. Um, we're fortunate to have a scrapbooking event that happens like quarterly. Okay. And so it kind of is falling right in line with this national event that's happening. Yes. So right at the end of the month, um, we'll have that National Scrapbooking Day, but we also have a movie night. That's um, fun. We pair that with cribbage clubs so the adults can play the fun oh, yeah. game of cribbage while the kids are in the other room watching a movie. Euchre Club is a great thing that happens. Um, we usually do that on a monthly basis, and that's a club that's been growing. And it's turned into a great like potluck time. People yeah. bring food in, and we're sharing food, and we're playing cards. I and love that. Yeah, it's been a great time. I do want to mention, too, um, I, I read on your website 
that this is also a space that people can rent out. So if they have an yes. event or, or like something that they have going on, they can do that as well. Yes, it's been a great party spot because it's right there on the corner. So it's really easy right. to get to and it's yeah. a nice open space and um, it's a great place to host an event. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there it is. There's the <laughs> Facebook page. The Rec Center is located on 13th Street in Viola. Uh, the address, the phone number, they're both on your screen. And for updates on what's happening at the Rec Center, be sure to give them a follow on Facebook. Uh, just search Viola Rec Center. Robin, uh, congratulations you, Robin. and thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. I appreciate the time. You guys are great. <laughs>